our client is out of service fire and they wanted this block of flats and we had to look at the existing fire door makeup and how they've been installed and constructed and also, also try and investigate why smoke and heat has spread from the middle flat to the flat below and the flat above. As you can see here, fire's actually spread from this flat to the flat above and below. Part of this exercise will upgrade all the door sets to FD30s, which I'll go into in a moment. I'll we'll also do a fire investigation on the service rises internally within the flats to see why the fact that fire's actually spread. Originally this was installed as an FD30 door, however, the certification on the leaf is for past 23-24 door, which will make it secure by design. There's no fire rating on the leaf itself. The frame is PVC. The hinges themselves have not been rebated. The leaf has got no hardwood, hardwood lip tedging, which you would expect to see, and they've used dry wall screws to actually secure the leaf to the frame. Um, there's no intermittent on the spy hole, and there's no intermittent that's been fitted at all on the, uh, on the lock, like you can see. In addition to that, when installing the door, uh, which we've screwed at 300 centers, the gaps around here have not been sealed at all adequately. They've used some foams down the side. They should have been cut back to a depth of about 20 or 30 mil covered with a suitable intermittent mastic and then suitable half drapes on the outside of it. So a major concern here, the, the opening for the frame has not been backfilled, so we've got a clear gap between the frame and the opening of between 10 and 40-50 millimetres, which has not actually been adequately filled. Okay, we've pulled back the drapes on this adjoining door set, and again been um, polyfilled, not been backfilled, it's a PVC frame again. Um, as you can see here, gaps down the side, gaps down this side. Totally inadequate for the plywood. Okay, this is the door that we've just nearly completed. Um, this particular door set consists of a manual FD30 certifier approved door leaf, a Wink House Eco Frame framing system, which again is certifier approved. Um, the key difference here you'll see is that when we've done the install, we've actually packed the gaps between the frame and the aperture with 50 mil bat and intermittent mastic to give us a clear seal. Um, the door itself fitted with rebated hinges, certifier approved, certifier approved spy hole and letterbox. The locking system which is an AB2 locking system secure by design is also packed out with intermittent. In addition to upgrading the fire doors on this particular flat we've also got to look at why the um, smoke has spread from the flat below into this particular flat and it would appear that the main reason for that is Two things, one is a service riser in the kitchen area, the other one is here in the bathroom. We have a 110 mil plastic pipe which goes from this level down to the flat level below. That was never sealed correctly when the um, building was constructed in the 1970s. So we're going to have to go into there and seal around the actual um, 110 mil plastic pipe and fit a collar. Um, so we can stop that transfer of heat and smoke from the flat below to this one, it should be another fire.